Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Comedic African here in Kigali. Uh, just loving it, living my life in Rwanda. It's amazing here. And so, uh, figured I'd bring another video. Uh, today, I wanted to uh, kind of talk about uh, my name, the Comedic African. You know, I've been getting a lot of questions as to the Comedic African. What is that? What's Comedic? You know, why, is, why do you call yourself that? And, um, you know, pretty much to, for those who don't know, uh, Kemet is what the ancient Egyptians called themselves. Um, Kemet is basically um, the black land. Uh, so it's the land of the black people. A lot of uh, people say it's the land of the black soil, but that's not really accurate. Uh, it's basically, it came from the, the people being black. And that's a whole another story that we might go into at some other point. But, you know, I'm not going to get into it. Um, you can do your research if you uh, disagree, but it's, it's pretty obvious. And so um, the comedic African, um, that's just who I am. Um, you know, I definitely identify as African. Um, we are all African people. Pretty much all people on the planet are African people. If you look at the uh, genealogy of it, um, you know, we just migrated to different places. But uh, definitely dark skinned people. Um, on the planet are, you know, coming from Africa. Um, as far as the comedic part, you know, ancient Egypt was uh, the, the first um, modern civilization, honestly. You know, we talk about um, classical civilizations being Greeks and Rome, and at least that's what they teach you in school. Uh, but what they don't teach you in school, and but you can learn from the ancient Greeks and the ancient Romans, is that they learned everything they knew from ancient Egypt or Kemet. And so that period of time in antiquity is pretty much goes back to um, the earliest information that we have of mankind um, and civilization. So, you know, the, the first civilization that we know of came from Africa. And you know, some people might wanna act as if Egypt isn't in Africa, but it obviously is. And you know, like I say, we won't go into that right now. Maybe in the future we might do something like that. Um, but um, yeah, it, it, it definitely is in, in Africa. So I kind of uh, try to identify myself with those ancient people, the comedic people. Um, that's kind of the path that I wanna try to follow in my life. Uh, you know, that's a lot of the research that I've done and a lot of my um, spirituality and uh, understanding comes from that. And so you'll see a lot of that on this channel. You know, we'll probably get into those things. But, um, you know, the fall of Kemet was really the first, um, you know, the first of the long list of African empires that kind of fell uh, to uh, European control and dominance. And, um, you know, if we really want to go back to our roots, then that's really kind of where we want to go back to. And so I wanted to read, um, read a passage from a book I have, uh, Ancient Egyptian Economics. It's a great book by uh, uh, Muada Asbi. And he has some really good, uh, good books on ancient uh, comedic um, topics. And uh, you can actually have a, a, a bookstore, an online bookstore. Uh, you can actually get this book and other books. Um, it's uh, books.buyblackshops.com online. I'll put a link in the description. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in this book or other books, you can you know check it out over there. But here, let me uh, read this one passage and it'll kind of give you an understanding of what uh, what I mean by ancient Egypt or Kemet being um, kind of like that first civilization to fall. All right, so there's this is a little passage from the book. The ancient system of distribution of goods throughout ancient Egypt operated in a way so that goods were collected by royal decree and the visor, governors, and tax collectors uh, and a variable army of bureaucrats managed the process. So farm crops in the north of Egypt were collected and redistributed so that everyone would get what they needed. 
crops of a different sort in the south would in turn be redistributed to the north, and so on. Therefore, this was a massive system of economy based on collective sharing of the wealth of the country without leaving some to fend for themselves or creating associations or guilds that segregated people from subsistence level goods for the sake of commercial profit. This system of economy may be thought of as a barter and collective sharing economy. One present day similar but small scale system of sharing is called community supported agriculture or CSA. Typically, CSA farmers are small, independent, labor-intensive family farms. In ancient Egypt, the system was countrywide and managed by the central government, the Pharaonic system. By Roman times, however, the Pharaonic state, which had, which had controlled the general economy by collecting and redistributing, had been mostly dismantled by the Roman conquerors in favor of a colonial administrative system, which had the main goal of exploiting Egypt in favor of Rome. Egypt became the breadbasket that allowed the Roman Empire to grow, but Egypt was depleted of its wealth. And so, uh, you know, it's right there. It uh, basically says how, uh, you know, the ancient comedic civilization was, uh, you know, once they were conquered by Rome, which we all know about in our history books, they pretty much, uh, you know, started exploiting the uh, the country and, you know, taking the resources. And so that was really the, the first African culture or civilization to uh, to be controlled and dominated by a European conqueror. And as we know through the whole colonial system, uh, which is obvious, you know, they just continued from there thousands of years later and so there was a lot that went on in between those times and you know maybe we'll talk about that i'm a little history buff so i might be bringing some of those things up on this channel but um yeah i just wanted to kind of mention that and and they also talked about the csa uh when i was reading that i was kind of um you know it was cool for me because you know i do some farming as well and i was thinking about doing a csa in the states uh with my farm i have a farm in illinois and uh, I also plan on doing some farming here in uh, in Africa. And so I'll be bringing you some of that farming stuff um, on this channel as well. But um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much how it went down. Uh, so at this point, we have to pretty much do what we can do to get out of that situation because even today, Africa is being exploited for its resources to fund and fuel Europe and Asia and you know everywhere else and so um, until we start developing our own here and actually doing production adding value to the natural resources we're going to be in the same boat and so that's one of the things that i want to do um, but i just want to bring you this short video like i said this is from the book ancient egyptian economics it's a pretty good book um, i might actually do another video on some of the other things in here um, but like, like I say, there's uh, a lot of books on ancient Kemet and other black history books on my bookstore, books.buyblackshops.com. I'll put a link in the, in the description. So uh, thanks for joining. Um, it's been a pleasure. I'll try to continue to bring more videos. But, um, you know, for now, peace and blessings to you all. You have a great day. Peace.